Love and Hip Hop New York You know they keep advertising Love and Hip Hop um, Miami Why did they change the night Of Love and Hip Hop Now Love and Hip Hop Miami is going to be coming on Wednesdays I don't know if I can commit to that I don't know. That's gonna be rough for my schedule, but um, okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Anyway, y'all know I didn't review last week's episode of um, Love and Hip Hop New York because uh, I was busy. Um, December for Christmas. December is a very um, uh, stressful, busy time at at my job. So yeah, so it's just working a lot of overtime. Okay. So let's see what is going on. Um, the highlights from last episode. Let's see. I do feel bad for Alexis um, Sky, uh, Alexis baby. Um, you know for everything that she's going through. Um, but I don't feel bad for Alexis Sky. You put yourself in the situation. You knew who this man was. You thought this man was gonna change. You thought that your your cooch was better than everybody else's. You, you know, you knew this man went crap. You knew um, how he treated um, his his other baby mamas. And yet you still got with him. You still pursued him until you had a baby with him. And now you're mad because he not doing by your child. Do he do by the other ones? Like, why do everybody want to sleep with the same person? Like, I don't, I just don't get it. Alexis, you put yourself in this situation, dear. You did. You did. Um, but God bless the baby. I think the baby's beautiful. And you know, Alexis, she's a beautiful girl, but just dumb. Um, bless her heart. Bless her heart. What else is going on? Um, Cambella. Cambella's so swollen and oily. Cambella. 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 Um, let's see. You know, the whole thing with Jules is going down. You know, she's talking about, oh, it's an epidemic, uh, breaking up black families. They just don't want to see us win. And I'll, where you been? This is what bothers me with some people. It, until something is personally affecting them, they don't get it. Or it's not real. Or it never happened. I remember watching some, um, some clip on the, on YouTube and um it was um this white lady uh there was an interview this white lady asked little Wayne um a a uh, question about like racism and all that kind of stuff and and how does he feel about it he was just like well I've never been racially discriminated against I don't understand what that is I don't um get that and and you know um I've never been discriminated against and all this other kind of stuff I'm just like See, that kind of ignorance I can't even take. I can't even be bothered with. The only reason they let your little ugly ass in is because you got money. That's it, little frog. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. Anyway, um, but yeah, Kim Bella breaking up black families. Shut up. That man brought a loaded gun into the airport. What did you think was going to happen? Now, sometimes I can rock with the whole race thing, and most of the time I do, because a lot of things just is about... Boils down to you know discrimination, all that kind of stuff. But what did you think was gonna happen? Bringing a loaded gun into the airport, clown. Kill me with this shit. Free booze and boots it. Free these people. Free these people. If they did it, don't free them. Oh Lord. Okay. Let's see. So for whatever reason, everybody mad at Juju. Um because she's too secretive. So I wouldn't tell none of y'all clowns none of my business either. So now I will say this with Juju being so sneak sneak secretive and the fact that they've called it out now. She gonna have to reveal something, or she gonna be put off the show. 
But the fact that y'all are arguing with her about her not telling her own business to y'all, that's creating a storyline right there. So she may be all right. But, you know, we always need a balance on these shows. We always need a little bit of ratchet. A little splash of class and, and you know, a little bit of uh, seat fillers and, you know, people that's just, you know, there, the, um, the break up the foolishness. Stop it. Stop it. I'm friends with you. You friends with me. Stop it. You know, we need people like that on the show. So, you know, leave Juju alone. Y'all just mad because she's pretty and chocolate. She's stunning, that Juju. Um, you know, Jonathan had a birthday party when everything went down. Anais is back. Happy birthday to you. What's going on with Anais? Anais don't look too good. She looks sick. What's going on with Anais, child? She's not a beautiful woman, but she is entertaining as hell, that Anais. Yes, she is. I really, really like her. I don't understand why she's not um, a main cast member, but whatever. If they want to push this whole couples in love thing in New York cast, I don't care. Um, what else is happening? Hmm. Kim Bella and Gandy, they still all going to get into it. I mean... Mm. Okay, well, let's just move on to tonight's episode. I know y'all like, what? Yeah, let's move on to tonight's episode. Um, okay. First off, we meet up with uh, Yandy and Juju. Yandy and Juju sitting there talking and stuff. And uh, Yandy looked cute with her braids. And, you know, they were just talking about the whole thing. Juju was just like, yeah, I got into it with Jonathan because he feels like I'm too secretive. The Yandy pretty much told her that I agree with him. You are too secretive and you need to, you know, deal with that and, and get yourself together. Yandy was just like, well, why do I have to disclose everything about my relationship? Juju actually started crying because she got upset. Because it's just like, why do I have to reveal to y'all all, all things that I'm going through? That's my own personal business. Everybody's different. There's a lot that I don't tell my friends um, that be going on with me. You know, A, because I just don't want to be a Debbie Downer. B, I don't want to make it seem like, oh, every time Chase comes around, he has a new issue, you know. A C, because I don't want, you know, them, even if they're your friends and you love them, you just don't want people, like, sometimes feeling sorry for you. You just don't want advice sometimes from people when they can't do anything about it. Some things are just life issues that you have to go through. It's nothing nobody can do to, to fix it, you know, and, and talking about it. With people, yeah, sometimes it, it makes you feel better, but uh, the problem's still there. So it's just things you just have to go through in life. And you don't need to talk about what you go through all the time, like with people. I don't know. Maybe that's a flaw. Maybe it is. I don't know. Let's talk about it in the comment section, see how y'all feel about it. Um... So, yeah, uh, Juju got irritated, you know, because she broke up with Cameron and, you know, that whole gig. So, you know, I was just like, child, I ain't got time. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Um, let's go ahead and get them out the way. <sighs> Juju met up with Remy Mom. Um, Y'all know I don't like care for Remy Ma's attitude. I think she's an amazing artist. I don't care for her attitude. Um, but Juju... Met up with Remy. She was doing a photo shoot. She's pregnant. Congratulations to her and Pap. Um, I really, really like Pap. A good guy. Um, and, you know, so they're talking and everything. And, you know, uh, Remy agreed to be the mediator between her and Yandy. Um, Juju revealed in that conversation. She was just like, well, um, Yandy, you didn't reveal that you didn't sign them damn marriage papers. So you're not really married. Sitting there yawking around. And Yandy, that's another person I don't like. Yandy is the queen of putting on fronts. Um, I personally think she's a scammer. That's just my opinion, allegedly. Um, I just don't trust her. The, the kind of person that, you know, Yandy is. She don't strike me as the kind of person that's very trustworthy. Um, and if you want to talk about being secretive, Yandy's secretive too. At least Juju don't want to tell y'all her own personal business. But that's on her. Like, Yandy leave out very important information. Juju just leave out things that's going on with her. 
Maybe Juju had diarrhea that day. She didn't want to tell y'all. That's her business. But Yandy don't sign whole uh, marriage license and, and, and things. That's a little bit more serious. So, you know, I mean, who, who's, what's to say? Why is one better than the other one, really? Um, you know, Remy Ma, she didn't give a damn about the situation. Nobody ever comes at Remy about anything because they'll get shot in the stomach. And, um, so yeah. Um, I guess Juju and, and Randy are okay. Juju and Jonathan still beefing. Um, Jonathan had a scene with Anais, Sin Santana, and Kimbella, all swollen, all bloated, all of them, oily, sooty. Um, and you know, uh, Kimbella got up and walked off. You know, she's dealing with her situation with Jules, and she don't have time for this. And you know, she got up and walked out. And you know, Anais and Jonathan get into it all the time, but they're best friends, so they're gonna get back cool. Um, and since Santana just sitting now, you know, just looking, enjoying the tea. Because, you know, Joe won't, won't screw anymore because she's overweight. So, you know, yeah. Joe, we might finna, um, put you in the LGBT category. Keep playing. Keep playing around. Why you don't want to screw that woman? She's a little thick up. Ain't nothing wrong with being a little thick up. That's what y'all like, right? Thick red bones. That's what y'all like. So, why? Uh, she's beautiful, Sin Santana. What's wrong with her? Why you don't want to sleep with her? You either sleeping with somebody else, either it's a man or a woman. Which one is it? Or both? I'm every woman. It's all in me. Anything you want to maybe, I'll do it naturally. Okay. So, moving on. What else is going on, y'all? I actually enjoyed this episode. Hmm. Richie Dollars. Richie Dollars. Richie Dollars. <sighs> Met up with Jacque. And we are introduced to a new character, Sydney Star. Y'all know Sydney Star, transgender, um, online sensation. A whole lot of extra, but I really, really do like uh, Sydney Star. Um, what I don't like is LGBTQIAGWSYN people on Love and Hip Hop. I just feel like they just make them out of a of a. Of a they just become a caricature. They they just feed into all the stereotypes. They always make them messy. And and I just don't like gay people on love and hip hop. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Um that's just how I feel. Let y'all create actual real life storylines and you'd be like, oh but well, this is these people's real life. Yeah. Until we until it becomes a situation where I'm just, I just feel like I'm just a person on the show. I'm not just, you know, I have my own real life, you know, situation being played out. I want to be a main cast member. I want to be, you know, seen on the same level as everybody. I don't want to just be put in these messy ass roles. You know, I don't want to speak out and be, oh, the face of this and the face of that. I'm just a person who's just living who just so happened to like hot dogs over hamburgers. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm just saying, right? Sydney Star met up with Jacque. You know, Jacque is producing everything. Um, you know, she got up, started rapping all extra, and, and she kept saying that she's a chick with a dick, got a penis. Jacque didn't know. Um, Sydney's very beautiful. <sighs> whoop to whoop. And, you know, you can tell instantly he changed. His mood changed once he found out that she was transgender. Sydney met up with her homeboy, who's attractive. Um, and, you know, they're talking, and I'm just like, we found out the city started and hit Richie Dollars up about 300 times and trying to work with him. And see, I just don't like, we would, we would never fit into their world as LGBTQINWZIT people. We would never really fit into the straight world, at least not in every single group. 
So let's just create our own and stop trying to fit in. It's just like, stop. They ain't going to never accept you. They ain't going to never, like, just let it go. The large masses, you know. Be your own people, own folks, own black people. Shit, uh, unfortunately, I've been discriminated against in, in terms of um, the G-A-Y thing. I've been discriminated against more so for that with my own people, black people. Versus, you know, other races, which is some sad shit. But the other races, you know, they give me the race thing. Oh, nigga, nigga, nigga. Blank, blank, blank. So, you know, you just get shit. Just all the way around. But, um. Yeah, I just, uh. Who else is back? Um. Nia Lee is back. Um. She was on Love and Hip Hop a few years ago. Working with Rich. She used to read Rich down. Um, but it didn't help because she's right back on Love and Hip Hop with Rich Dollars. So, cut that attitude out because ain't nobody better than nobody. Y'all on the same show. I like Nia better balls. She done had a baby. Now she's coming back. Jaquay working with her. There was a scene where, um, Jaquay, um, and Rich Dollars. Jaquay has a song with Nia and, um, they're on stage doing that thing. Rich Dollars talking to him. Um, she's reading Rich Dollars, you know, saying, oh, you're a womanizer. You was messing with a married woman last season, which is true. He was wrong for that. But y'all know who Rich is at this point. I don't even. Um, all of a sudden, Sydney came in, spoke to everybody. And Richie decided to use Sydney as an example for Nia to behave. Um, Nia, you know, was just looking at um, Sydney a little funny. Just like, oh, well, who is this? Who is this? You know, Sydney was wrong because she walked up on the girl like she was trying to fight her. Um, and then uh, Rich pulled Sydney off to the side. Then Jaque came up talking about, oh, we just can't have that. The way that you're acting right now is just inappropriate. We can't have that. And and if she can't get her act together, then I'm not going to work with her. I took that as saying Jaque was just, Jaque was waiting on any kind of reason. To not work with Sydney Star anyway because she's transgender. I don't give a damn what nobody says. They 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 act like they cool with it for one minute, but the minute you do one thing they don't like, they cut you off forever because they didn't want to work with your ass either. But because they didn't want to look like they was homophobic, they play the role. Okay, that's all that was. Jaque, big head ass, did not want to work um, with Sydney Star anyway because she's transgender. Let's just be honest. So he may still continue to decide to work with Sydney. We're going to see. It's just going to be interesting. I, I don't know. Like I said, I just. <sighs> Listen, unless I'm the goddamn star, unless I have some kind of control on the show, I when as a, a gay person, I'm not going to sign up to be on Nobody's Loving Hip Hop. Mm mm. No and no and no. Um, what else is happening? Hmm. Let me think. Um, damn. Uh, 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 Jules Santana, he might be on his way out. You know, to uh jail. We don't know what's going on. Him and Kim Bella having conversations. Kim Bella's giving it to Jules though. Um, because she's making him own up to a lot of stuff that he did. He done put that woman through hell for nine years. She's a fool for staying. But he have put that woman up, you know, through stuff for nine years. Multiple infidelities, multiple drug issues, allegedly. Multiple, 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 multiple. Um, but she stayed. And she just kept getting more and more enhanced. And now she looked like she finna pop in her face, titties, and ass. She finna pop. Can Bella, can Bella go to the dollar store and get all the baby oil? Just snatch it off the aisles like a bear. Just snatch it off the aisles. I say, Kim Bella, she's so, she's so, she's like a rotisserie. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, making Jules, Jules getting upset, you know, when me and down and out, this when they come around and realize they had a good girl on their team the whole time. Only when men is down and out is when they be like, oh, you was, you have been there for me, ain't you? Oh, I really do love you, die. Take all of them. All of them. They say this is what Jules like anyway. I remember, um, who was writing the book? 
Was it Juju writing the book? One season, somebody was writing the book, and 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 her mother was just like, "Yeah, you know what these men like, you know, little fingers up there, little little yum 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 around the house." I don't know. I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm I'm a nun. Ooh, that was a scary movie. Y'all seen the the nun? That was a scary ass movie. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. But yeah. But Kim Bella's right there with him, so I guess we're going to see next week what the verdict is, you know. I don't want Jules Santana to go to jail. Out of all the Dipset members, Jules seemed like he was the, probably the nicest one. Um, I don't want to see anybody, you know, family get broken up or none of that. But a lot of the stuff black people, we got on up to, to it. A lot of the stuff we got on up to it. You, you still, you get locked up a few times and you get warnings. Do you think these people playing? They don't give a damn about us. They will lock your black ass up. But you still out there reckless and doing stuff. Like, what you think gonna happen? Okay. What else happened? I think that's pretty much it. It's gonna be interesting to see um, everybody, you know, as they progress on the show. Like I said, I'm glad Anais back. She's my favorite. Um, Jonathan's cool, just dramatic as hell. Look like he's going to be a mess box this season. Um, it'll be interesting to see Sydney Stars transition on the show. Who else am I excited to see? Um, it is cool, I guess, that, that Richie is, is willing to work with Sydney Star, I guess. But we're going to see. He He's not loyal either, so I don't know. We gonna see child love hip hop New York child has just started. It's episode three or four. We in here. With that said, I'm Mr. Chillock. <laughs> Mr. Chillocky on Google Plus. Follow me at Is Kings World on Instagram and Twitter at Is Kings World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chillocky on Cash App and PayPal. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. I love you so much. And remember, stay black and stay tuned. Happy holidays. <laughs>